Hello, my name is Chad Castle from Acoustic Sounds, Analog Productions, and Quality Record Pressings. And today we're going to do a video about OJC series, uh, originally from Fantasy. And OJC stands for Original Jazz Classics. And uh, the reason why this video, I decided to make this video is because all of a sudden, I just started seeing the prices of OJCs going through the roof, and it was like, wow, you know, this was a budget series that we sold forever. I mean, in fact, we're going to be selling a bunch of these, and also and, uh, some other labels I'll get into before the end. But like the OJCs, they started in 1982, and they went to about 2002. The first one was Milt Jackson, and they made about 1,000 OJCs, again, from... Uh, 1982 to 2002. The president of fantasy, Ralph Kaffel, is the one that came up with the great idea of reissuing the labels they owned and calling it OJC. But if you look, it, they started at 698 in 1982. Then they went to about $10. We sold them for years, and you know, people, they sold fairly well, and people appreciated them. I mean, to me, I always liked them because to find the original of these things were almost impossible. And then when you found the original, they were usually scratched or beat up. Or even if you found one that hadn't been played, there was crappy vinyl back then that was used. So I always really liked the OJCs, but, you know, a lot of people, oh, they want the original. And, and hey, okay, we'd sell them the original too. But I liked having both, actually, you know. And... Uh, and I really thought that a lot of the OJC sounded better than the originals. And for the price and how clean and new they were. Um, and then there, some of them were just impossible to find the originals, you know. And just a little background on Fantasy. Fantasy was a jazz label in, in California that had Dave Brubeck on their label. They had Vince Guaraldi. They made the famous Charlie Brown Christmas record. And then in the 70s, or, well, actually, 60s and 70s, they recorded a little band called Credence Clearwater Revival. You know, Analog Productions reissued the whole Credence Clearwater catalog, and when we were mastering it on, on one of the tape boxes, it said, this is a potential new hot group, which was funny as heck to, to see that, and uh, I think that whoever the producer or engineer wrote was, he was right. But uh, so once they signed... Credence, you know, they sold so many records, they were able to buy other record labels. So, you know, in the 70s, they bought Prestige, then they bought Riverside, then they bought Milestone and Stax. In the 80s, they bought Pablo, Contemporary, and Specialty. And then in 1982, Ralph Kaffel started the OJC series. The first one they did was Milt Jackson from Prestige. In 1992 is the first time Analog Productions licensed a record from Fantasy. So I called Ralph in 1992 and, and asked him for three titles. I asked him for Sonny Rollins' Way Out West, Art Pepper Meets the Rhythm Section, and Bill Evans' Waltz for Debbie. So that's when we started. And we had Doug Sachs master these off the original master tapes with tube electronics, we had RTI press them, we had Stoughton make the jackets, and they sold quite quite well, and people loved them, they got good reviews, and they go for a lot of money now. And you know, that was when I started my relationship with, with Fantasy in 1992. So in 2002, we made a trip to Fantasy, and that's when Joe Tarantino was mastering the SACD, so we got to meet Joe, uh, Fantasy did like 10 to 20 of their most famous titles on SACD. We got to meet George Horn, which was their mastering engineer. Of course, we met with Bill Belmont, and we met with uh, Ralph Kaffel. And one of the cool things we saw is, you know, we got uh, Bill Belmont gave us a tour of the tape vault, and which is unbelievable tape vault, and it was all uh, uh, earthquake proof because I think they had an earthquake at one time, so that the tapes couldn't fall down. And then right next door to that was their mastering facility. So George Horn was able to go into one room and grab a tape and master it. So pretty much all of them should be from analog tape, you know, the $10 OJCs. And uh, so we got to meet with George. George started there in 1982, 
And George recently passed away in 2021 from COVID. So he was 87 years old. So he mastered a lot of the OJCs. Uh, another person was Phil Delancey. And there was another, a lot of other mastering engineers over the time. But I think George Horn did most of them. In 2002 is the last time uh, Fantasy made their catalog. Their catalog was a treasure to have. I mean, this was... I mean, back before the internet, if you got the OJC catalog, it just had all these great titles that you could look to try to buy. And, you know, you, you couldn't find these, uh, you know, and of course, it was, this was before the internet. And so they made catalogs from 82 to 2002. And I have a bunch of them and I'm not get, getting rid of them. You know, I'm so happy that I had them and I worked for them from them for years. And, uh, so they made their last catalog in 2002. In 2004, Concord purchased Fantasy. So at that time, you know, I was still licensing. You know, I did the 100 Top Fantasy at 45. I did all the Credence Clearwater. I did the Bill Evans box set. I did so much stuff. And, and so since Bill worked for the original Fantasy, he ended up working with Concord still to, to this day. So we, we worked with Bill... Uh, and we continued to put out records and, and work with them. And, and, you know, again, like I said, the reason I did this video was, you know, we're fix, we've are we got a bunch of OJCs we're going to put up for sale. And we noticed the crazy prices on them, which led me to, to do a whole, you know, an interesting video on the history of the OJCs. And before we got to filming... The crazy thing is they announced they're coming back out with the OJC series. And the first tour is going to be Miles Davis working and uh, the uh, Monk and Coltrane, the Riverside, Jazzland Riverside title and the prestige title that Miles Davis working. So I just couldn't believe that in that short a time from the time I decided to do this video, to actually doing it, they just made this big announcement on their new series. So we'll talk about uh, the series that we had going right now, because this is hot as, as heck too, is we did 25 mono prestige and we did 25 stereo prestige. And so we got these on the press now. By the end of April, we'll have this one. Then formal jazz, the, he the, the Elmo Hope, Sextet with uh, Donald Byrd on trumpet, Hank Mobley, John Coltrane on tenor sax, Paul Chambers, and Philly Joe Jones. This is a very rare record that's great with a, a really great lineup, a good record. This will be here by the end of April. So will the cooking with the great, the great quintet, Miles Davis. Miles Davis cooking. It's got Just Squeeze Me on here and My Funny Valentine, classic record by the end of April. Same with The Relaxing, Steaming, and John Coltrane Lush Light. These should be here by the end of April. They're pressed at QRP, Quality Record Pressings, mastered off the original analog tape by Kevin Gray and the Stoughton Jackets. Then by the end of May, we'll have one of my favorites, the Gene Emmons Boss Tenor. This thing is audiophile sound, and it is one of my favorites. This is a killer. Uh, it's got some congos on it, and it's real bluesy and soulful, and it's got a lot of reverb in it. Man, it, it, this is a great album. Highly recommend it. Booker Irvin, The Freedom Book. And Rollins Plays Bird, Sonny Rollins Plays Bird. Those should be there by the end of May. So and the other thing is we're going to put these OJCs up for sale. We have a, a, about 50 Blue Note Connoisseur reissues sealed. We have about 50 of the Impulse series reissues they did in 1997. So we got a lot of uh, jazz albums that we're going to put on the vinyl vault at the same time. It's just an interesting time. So many great records coming out, and they're just... Everybody is up in their game trying to make the best records, press at the best place, use the best mastering facilities, use analog tape. But anyway, we appreciate your business. Thanks for your support. Look forward to more great jazz albums coming out on Analog Productions, more great jazz albums coming out on the Analog Productions or the Acoustic Sounds 
contemporary series and also the new OJC series. We're going to be selling them and we look forward to getting those titles in. So thanks for supporting Acoustic Sounds, Vinyl Vault, Quality Record Pressings, and uh, hopefully the... Uh, for those that didn't know about OJCs and the history of fantasy, uh, hopefully you learned something. So thank you. Please like and subscribe for more audiophile content.